what's up youtube in today's video i'm going to show you how to get the red helion in tiny tina's wonderlands so don't forget to smash that like button smash that sub button and drop a comment thanks so we're gonna head over to the overworld and we're gonna head over to tangle drift now i've mentioned it before in other videos because i've been here before in other videos that you have to complete a side quest and that side quest is going to be some green jelly bean crying for help which i'm going to show you where he will be so we're going to start off from this entrance of Brighthoof and follow me. Head over to the Notion. And up here. The green bean should be right here. Talk to him. Throw him over here. And he makes Tangle Drift. It's also the beginning of a very long mission where you defeat the boss of Tangle Drift. So keep that in mind. You might want to do that before hitting the Obelisk here. Because that's what we're going to be farming. This is perfect because I haven't even done his obelisk yet. So I'm going to show you how to get there. Follow me. Skip all of these fools. And this is where you want to be. So once you're right here, you make a right and keep heading down until you see this. That is the obelisk that we need. Obelisk, obelisk, same thing. Now this can range from 18 minutes to an hour. Because that's how my last couple weapon farms have been. That's how long they've took. So let's see how long this is going to take. As you can see, it's just a ton of wyvern. And uh, a badass skeleton. But mostly wyvern. And we are getting the boss right now. The Obsidian Wyvern. Oh, he's resisting. Nice. Very very well then. What was that? He's resisting this too. Very well then. Ah, got him. Got him. So, the best weapon... Oh, we got a legendary. The best weapon for this boss is the Wizard's Pot... No, wait. The best weapon for this boss is the Ruby Spite. As you can see, he was resisting my other weapons. And we got the Ghostlight Turquoise Claw of Gnawing. I don't even know if I said that right, but that's cool. That's not what we're looking for. I'm going to skip to the part where I finally get the drop. But before I do, I'm going to show you the fastest way to reset this obelisk. So, instead of fast traveling back to Bright Oof, and just turning around and going to that portal, you can just simply change your chaos mode. So you need to have chaos mode unlocked. In other words, you have to beat the game once. So if I turn it on, it's going to spawn me at this fast travel location that's not even marked on the map. I'm going to show you where it's at. <clears throat> this is the fast travel marker. And right now we are at this location. The closest fast travel that's that's marked on the map is this one, which is called What's Left of Driftwood. So keep that in mind. We finally got it. The Red Hellion of the Shrieking Void. So we got the red heli in here, and it says damage to projected front-facing ward reflects bullets back at attackers. Pretty cool. Slows enemies, and there's a quote that says, think you're fast, not fast enough. Cool. I wonder where that's from. And it does ice damage. But as you know, after the patch, they buff shotguns. So that's good. So I thought this would be a popular pick right now. Alright, so let's go test this weapon out on another obelisk. Let's see how it performs. 
Oh yeah, this gun is powerful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Peace!